Hey guys, uh, welcome back. So hope you all are doing well. So um, in this particular video, we are going to talk about depreciation. So we'll talk about um, the basic meaning of depreciation. Uh, we'll talk about the types of uh, methods which are generally used for uh, depreciation measurement and uh, factors and needs of depreciation uh, in accounting. Okay, so uh, guys, uh, like whenever we talk about the depreciation, it is when the monetary value of any assets decrease due to uses or due to uh, wear and tear causes. So that particular thing is generally known as a depreciation. Like um, you can say, let's say um, you uh, buy a laptop at 50,000. So after one year, uh, the value of that particular laptop remain uh, 40,000. Okay. So the value or the monetary value of that particular asset decreased by 10,000. So that amount is generally uh, known as depreciation. Okay. So when the monetary value of an asset decreases over the time due to uses or due to uh, wear and tear causes and other reasons. So that particular thing is generally known as depreciation. So this decrease is um, known as depreciation as I gave you an example of um, laptops or like let's say you uh, buy a car uh, uh, rupees 10 lakh after three years the value of that car uh, remains six lakh so this uh, uh, this particular uh, thing or this particular concept or the decrease in the monetary value of that particular car is generally known as depreciation so in accounting like whenever you do uh, or whenever you prepare the accounts so you have to take care of that particular value as well and depreciation you have to charge that particular one in your PNL account okay so you have to uh, like um, you have to debit that particular amount from your profit and loss account so if you talk about the depreciation it is generally uh, we can say it is generally part of operating cost of any company and it is gradual in nature okay so every year uh, let's say if you are using straight line method to calculate the uh, depreciation so every year you have to decrease that particular value okay so um, uh, uh, we have an importance of depreciation like um, uh, if you adjust that particular value in your PLN account so you'll have the um, correct profits or uh, you can check the uh, the uh, correct uh, financial position or even let's say after some time so you have to replace that particular asset so you'll have that particular uh, like uh, you'll have a proper provision for that particular account as well okay so um, in this entire video we are generally going to talk about the uh, depreciation and uh, the major method which are generally used for the depreciation uh, calculation okay so the depreciation is charged uh, to a uh, profit and loss account please do remember this one like when you'll do the accountancy so let's say um, there is a there is an asset whose value is depreciated by 10,000 rupees okay so this 10,000 rupees will be debited from your PNL account for the uh, value in um, value of asset during the particular financial year so this is again very important point when you do the uh, uh, posting so you have to remember this one so depreciation is part of operating cost so that annual operating cost it is um, a reduction in the um, value of asset like um, you purchase an asset worth rupees uh, uh, 10 lakh after one year it remain at 9 lakh so uh, that reduction in value is only your depreciation the decrease in the value of an asset it can be um, due to uses or due to um, any wear and tear causes and other reasons okay so the decrease in value of an asset is gradual and uh, continuous let's say if you are continuously using that particular assets or even the monetary val value of that particular asset is definitely going to decrease uh, year by year okay so <clears throat> that's why like i hope you guys um, uh, know like uh, during the month of uh, march the value of X asset that generally decrease because that product will become one year older okay so uh, that depreciation cycle that will start uh, calculating from that particular asset as well okay so depreciation I hope the concept or the basic things about depreciation is clear now we'll talk about the what is the actual need of depreciation okay 
so like if you talk about the depreciation if like let's say if you buy um, an asset worth rupees 10 lakh rupees and if you keep that particular asset at uh, 10 lakh rupees for one year 10 years 15 years but the actual value is decreasing year by year because you are using that particular asset okay so there will be some uh, like we can say uh, there, there will be some problem with that per, that kind of accounts so you have like if you are using that particular asset that should be part of your operating cost so you have to manage that particular one as well so if you talk about the uh, needs so we have uh, with this you will know the correct profit like let's say you uh, buy a car uh, for the um, tour and travels purpose the car worth you around 15 lakh rupees and after one year the car value is 13 lakh rupees so it which means it depreciate by 2 lakh rupees during the financial year the overall revenue generated by that particular asset was 3 lakh rupees so uh, the actual revenue or the actual profit was 2 lakh 1 lakh only because the value of that particular machine is also uh, depreciated or the monetary value of that particular asset also decreases okay uh, to show correct uh, financial position of a company so like um, in companies we have number of fixed assets so the value of these particular asset that generally um, that gradually decreases so if you have if you if you have a proper calculation for that one so you will know the exact financial position of that particular uh, asset as well or that particular company then replacement of asset okay so every asset have a life okay let's say if you buy a car so let's say the uh, the uh, uh, value of that particular car the age of that particular machine is 10 year so after 10 year you need a proper replacement for that one okay so you have to create some provisions or uh, provision accounts for that one okay let's say the value of that asset is decreasing by 1 lakh rupees per annum so you have to make a provision of 1 lakh so after 10 year you can buy a new car or a new asset okay so for the replacement purpose again this uh, uh, the, the we, we need to identify the depreciated value in uh, various uh, assets of a company okay so hope this is also clear now factors of depreciation like when you calculate depreciation for any asset so you need few things like let's say we buy a, a xyz a machine at uh, 10 lakh rupees okay so we need a cost of this particular one, buying cost purchase cost okay 10 lakh rupees we need the um, uh, life of that particular asset okay let's say the uh, life of this particular xyz machinery is 10 years so we need this one and again apart from this we need a scrap value of this particular asset after 10 years after 10 years what will be the uh, uh, scrap value of this particular machinery let's say it is 2 lakh rupees so whenever you will calculate uh, your depreciation so 10 lakh minus 2 lakh so you will calculate your depreciation on 8 lakh rupees only because you will get this particular money at the end of the uh, 10 year after reselling that particular asset or uh, the scrap value of that particular asset okay so when you calculate um, the depreciation there are some factors which are very important so the cost of an asset the purchase cost of that particular machinery estimated um, uh, residual value or scrap value at the end of the life whatever the life like for every assets uh, we have a life okay it can be 5 year 10 year 15 year 30 year okay so when we do accounting we have a certain or we have fixed num we like as per the accountancy procedure we will use that particular asset for a fixed time duration okay uh, the estimated number of year uh, of the um, useful life so scrap value like after after that uh, time duration of 10 year or 15 years when you will resell that particular machine so what will what value you will get okay so that is a scrap value or years basically how long you are going to use that particular machinery so when you do the calculation or like when you will use the different different method uh, of um, depreciation calculations so you need uh, to understand or you need these three factors these are mandatory factors okay with the help of that particular one you can calculate the depreciation okay so uh, please do remember these particular thing i know these are very uh, basic things but uh, uh, for your calculation purpose or for your uh, like when you use when you apply any method so you need these particular factors okay now accounting entries so as um, 
I earlier told you like depreciation is generally managed through your PNL account, okay? Okay, profit and loss account. So let's say um, let's say the overall depreciation of any company is one lakh rupees for different different assets. So this one lakh uh, this one lakh rupees will be depreciated from debited from your uh, uh, debited from your PNL account and it will credited to uh, your provisional account okay so you have to create a provisional account so where you have to uh, credit that particular one because after a certain time duration you have to replace that particular asset okay so you have a machinery you have an asset in your organization which is depreciated by 1 lakh rupees so after or the age of this machinery is suppose that 10 year so after 10 year you need uh, or the scrap value is zero suppose that okay the scrap value is zero so after 10 years, you have to uh, re uh, repurchase that particular asset. So uh, the PNL account will be debited, and uh, your provisional ac provision accounts or provisional account will be credited in that particular case. Okay. So I'll show you some examples as well, which will give you more clarity. So depreciation account debited to 2000, and uh, asset account is uh, 2000. Now with this one, okay. So here. Like depreciation account is debited by 2000, which means your PNL account will be depreciated by 2000 dollar, and your provisional accounts will be credited by 2000 dollar. Okay, so I hope yes. So we have this explanation as well. So you can quickly go through this, and you'll get a clarity about this. Okay, so yes. So depreciation account is. Uh, Sorry, your profit and loss account will be debited by 2000 rupees, 2000 dollar, and your provision for the depreciation will be credited by 2000. Because, at like, if you'll create the provision, so at the end of the uh, uh, 10 years, you'll have that much of amount, so you can buy a new asset or you can replace that particular asset with the new one. Okay, so every time, whenever we do the uh, entries or account uh, accounting entries for the depreciation so we have number of examples like like uh, December 31st 2016 depreciation debited by 2000 so we have a provision of 2000 so here like every year they are generally using straight line method straight line method is like the in this example they generally use the straight line method uh, the uh, depreciation value is remain same for the uh, uh, for the over the period okay so let's say you buy a machinery of 10 lakh rupees and the scrap value is zero okay in that particular case and the life of that particular machinery is 10 uh, 10 years okay so 10 lakh divided by 10 so it is 1 lakh so every year you will depreciate that particular machinery by 1 lakh rupees here you can see 2000 2000 and 2000 okay so that is straight line method and they like you can see the credit uh, debit entries so debit amount is you have to debit your profit and loss account and you have to cre create a provisional account so you have to credit that particular money to the uh, your uh, provision for depreciation okay hope this is clear to all of you and like this is a basic understanding if you'll understand this one so it will make your journey easy toward the depreciation calculation we will discuss depreciation with number of examples or we'll use the different different methods so um, uh, do not worry about that particular part just clear your fundamentals about the uh, depreciation okay so now what is depreciable assets so we have number of assets like maximum asset which are generally depreciable like, let's say you own a mobile phone okay so the value of that particular mobile phone uh, will depreciate or decrease uh, because you are using that particular one or even there are some advancement in the technology as well okay so you let's say you own a car so um, uh, like every day you are using that particular one so there are some wear and tear causes or that uses that generally decrease the value of that particular asset okay so these are generally depreciable asset like you can see vehicle real estate means property okay not land do remember this one okay so uh, property not land so land is a appreciable asset okay so computers uh, office equipment machinery heavy equipment so these are generally part of your depreciable assets non depreciable asset so i clearly mentioned here as well so land is a non depreciable uh, fixed asset assets okay so do remember this 
like when you do the accounting so let's say the uh, the prices of land is 50 lakh rupees so when you'll do carry forward this balance or when you'll do the depreciation calculation so it will remain 50 like you cannot depreciate land okay so you cannot depreciate property for uh, personal uses and asset help for the investment as well. So do remember these political thumb rules, so which is definitely going to help you uh, for your upcoming understanding. Okay, Chalo. now uh, finally we came to um, methods of depreciation. So if you talk about the methods, we have number of methods. You will find seven, eight method minimum everywhere. Okay, but there are few methods which are very popular. And uh, even if you uh, uh, like being an accountant or like if you study the accountant in any country, so they generally use these particular methods like um, uh, straight line method, we have sum of years method, we have unit uh, of production method or we have double declining method. Okay, so now uh, in our next video, we will discuss uh, the uh, methods of depreciation like we'll come one by one like straight line method what is a straight line method as I gave you an example as well. So uh, we will discuss the straight line method then we'll do some practice as well. We'll, I'll come with some practice questions so where you can easily understand that particular method okay. So our next video will be based on depreciation method and uh, we will discuss all the type of depreciation methods which are generally used for the uh, uh, used by the CAs or other uh, firms for the depreciation calculation okay so uh, guys uh, in this uh, particular video we generally talk about the basics of depreciation like if you are planning to study depreciation so you need to know about these particular thing what are the factors uh, uh, which are generally used for the depreciation calculation what is the need of depreciation okay what is the basic main uh, basic uh, meaning of depreciation or even the other methods and all okay so in our next video we will discuss uh, we will uh, generally talk about the we'll we'll discuss uh, we'll do the detailed analysis of uh, types of methods uh, so do watch that particular one that is definitely going to help or even in your examination examiner they generally ask question based on the uh, these this particular session as well as like most of time they they'll give you some cases so you have to calculate the depreciation from those particular one okay so hope you enjoy the video if you like please do share with your friends and uh, do like the session thank you for watching this video bye bye take care